Hayden Hamlin came out and got Kirksville off and rolling on day two of the state tournament as he nearly rolled over Max Newberry for the win here. He didn't get the pin, but he came away with a 2-1 to one win. Alan George suffered his first ever state tournament loss as he went down by a 13-5 decision to DeAndre White. Ethan Rentschler came out and made quick work of Dalton Highstead as the senior won by pin in the first round to stay perfect. Tanner Sparks suffered a tough loss by pin to Tyler Brown of Oak Grove, a returning state medalist. Marshall Cook, another freshman, is going to get the escape here. However, he lost his first match of the state tournament by pin to Austin Weinstadt. Trey Stewart was sent to the wrestleback bracket as he dropped his match to Seth Hummer 6-1. McKenna Cook came out like a man on a mission as he picked up another first period pin, beating Cole Reeves here. Cade Proctor suffered a disappointing loss to Bryson O'Callaghan by a 4-2 decision as he was sent to the wrestlebacks. Austin Dovin came within inches of pinning Dalton Haddock here. However, the senior was forced to settle for a big 11-4 win instead. Caleb Cox is one of two Tigers who started the day in the wrestleback bracket. Like Dovin, he came within inches of winning by pin. However, he trailed 5-0 at this point and suffered a tough 7-6 loss. Brandon Beeler saw his state tournament end in heartbreaking fashion as well as he nearly pinned Ethan Carlberg, but when that failed, he suffered a tough 6-5 loss. This is Ryan Ronan for KTVO. Done. 